hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you're welcome and if you are a returning subscriber you're welcome as well thank you so much for subscribing to my channel so in today's video we are going to be learning how to cut a double breasted gown you can also call it an overlap gown okay so i have this fabric here if I am to cut, you know when you, when we fold our fabric, we normally fold it into two. Whether we want to cut the back or the front, we fold it into two so that when we open it up, you have one. But here, because it's an overlap, and I'm going to be using a contrasting color, which is a black color, for the other side. So that is why I'm, I have just one here, which means I did not fold it into two. Okay, but if I want to use the same fabric... As the other one you can see in the picture that we have black and um, the fabric so I'm also using black so if I am to cut this the same way if I'm to be using the same fabric then I'll probably be folding this into two but because I'll be using another fabric so I have just one so once I'm done cutting this one then I'll use it to cut the other you know the the other half so I've marked out this line here this is going to be the overlap allowance okay and the overlap allowance i left out here is five inches to know how much overlap you need to leave just use half of your nipple to nipple measurement so half of the nipple to nipple measurement of the person i'm working with is four inches okay so that's why i'm using five inches because i'll still need half an inch for turning it that, that was why i made it five inches so from this five inches now this is a five inches which means this mark here is going to serve as the center front it's just like folding back this allowance inward like this okay so this mark here now is going to be my center front so this mark right here is going to be my center front so from shoulder to the length so i already have the length here from shoulder to the bust and then from shoulder to the waist okay this is the half length so because this is our center line this is our center line okay this side was supposed to be on fold okay so to now take the shoulder to shoulder measurement i have to start from this line you can as well just fold this line in first and when we are about to cut the overlap you open it back up okay so this is the center line just mark your shoulder to shoulder measurement of 8 inches which is what i have so i marked 8 inches and then i marked one inch for the shoulder slope and from there i took the arm hole line okay so once you take your arm hole line you determine the center and the center i have here is four and quarter so for the front you come in by half an inch for the front just come in by half an inch and then you connect back to the ham hole you can just go in here come up here by one inch to know how deep you need to go so i've connected this back you can see I'm trying to shift this to you to see so you connect the ham hole connect it back to the ham hole and then you also rule the line from here back to this place i hope you understand what i'm doing here so the next thing we need to do now is to take the horizontal measurement now for this blouse for this gown i'm also going to be inserting a waist that so i'll be using waist that for this for this blouse okay so the waist that i'm using i'll be using four inches okay so i'm just going to mark the four inches line here so this is four inches and then i'll come down one inch below the bust point so i'm going to mark the so this is the dots here and then you mark half an inch on both sides although i'm not going to be cutting this dart off i'm not going to be cutting it off okay so i'm just going to notch it once i'm done measuring it i'm going to notch it for us to see so okay sorry just use um four and a half okay because when the overlap comes the overlap will come to the side of 
or will come on top of the dart so you need to use four and half so that by the time you take the half an inch it will go to the overlap so i'm just marking i'm marking four and half sorry so if your nipple to nipple measurement is three and a half you mark four inches okay so i'm going to roll the line again i said you stop one inch below your bust okay and then just take the half an inch again on both sides but I'll, I'll just notch this place so when i want to take it i'll be taking the half an inch on both sides so what i will do next is to take the horizontal measurement so the just come measure out your seam allowance of one and a half inch okay and from there you go up by half an inch so that we can curve the lower parts of this place so i'm going to curve this now i'll also curve it back to the bottom of the thread of the half length so just curve it back here okay so i'm pretty much done for the front so the next thing we need to do at the front is to create the um the wideness of the neck and the wideness of the neck is going to be three inches and i'm going to mark three inches here okay and the depth of the neck i'm going to mark about i'm going to mark about seven inches for the neck depth that is how deep you want the neck to be this is just for reference i'm not going to be cutting this out yet i'm just marking it out for us to see okay the neck depth is three inches Why the neck width is three inches Why the neck depth is seven inches so to cut the overlap all you need to do is connect from here connect from these three inches wideness of the neck to these seven inches and from there you connect to four and a half so the four and a half i'm using for the overlap i'm going to be marking it out here okay the overlap is four inches because i'll be needing half an inch to turn the lining so that is why i added i made it four and a half okay so you connect from this point to this place and from this place to this place that is you take your ruler like so you connect from here now connect from here now to this place and then you connect from this place to this place can you see so that is what we are going to do but what i'm going to do is i'm not going to be cutting this out yet because i want to use this to cut out the back so that i don't have to measure everything i measured here at the back so for the back arm hole all you need to do we are not going in by half an inch for the back arm hole just come here like so and then curve it back to this place that is what the back arm hole is so i'm going to cut this hole so that i can use this to cut the back okay so i'm going to use this to cut the back first before i come back to do the neck here so what i'll just do is to fold this back inward okay because the the excess here is for the uh, overlap so and we don't need overlap at the back so that is why you need to fold that back into two you need to fold it back in i also want to cut out the side i curved out so remember to curve the bottom so now i'm going to cut the back now so this is the back and the back is going to be having zipper allowance so i pretty much measure the zip zipper allowance aside you can see the zipper allowance of one and a half then i'm going to place so i'm going to place the front on it now make sure you fold in this allowance for overlap this overlap allowance make sure you fold it in because you don't need it at the back you need to fold it back in which is what i'm doing right now so i have done that so i'm going to cut the back now the back is folded into two okay it's folded into two so i'll go ahead and cut the back so now that i'm done using this to cut the back i'll just take the front away 
and then we cut the back neck also take the that allowance at the back so remember i said the neck width is three inches i'm going to mark the three inches neck width at the back as well so the neck depth for the back is going to be one and a half so i'm going to mark the one and a half for the neck depth to curve the back neck what I'm going to do now is to adjust the zipper the zipper allowance you know you don't want your zipper to be folding you don't want zipper bulge at the back so around that waist you need to take in half an inch okay so i'm taking in half an inch okay so when before you cut the uh, the excess here make sure you have this half an inch back to this side so you don't fall short of fabric but i already cut my out so and then, so i'm going to cut the front the back neck so there is nothing much at the back don't forget to notch your dart okay so i'm going to notch where i'm going to be having the dart which is here so i'm going to notch it we'll move back to the front now so guys i'm going to record the front arm hole. remember i said we need to record the front arm hole once we are done so i'm recording the front arm hole now so so i've opened it up so i'm going to connect the marks now and from there i'll also connect back to this place So this is it so i'll go ahead now and cut this out so this is what i have for the front so i'm going to use this now to cut the second side of the front this is the right side of this black fabric and this is the right side of this flowered fabric and the right side should be facing each other okay so i'll go ahead now and cut this out I'm done cutting this out now so what you're going to do is to notch where you're going to have the dart you notch where you have the dart remember that when i was marking it i first of all mark four inches then i added half an inch seam allowance to it so i marked four and a half okay so you had half an inch to your nipple to nipple measurement so once you i'm going to notch where i'm going to have the dart which is here and then i'll also notch where you have the overlap okay you also need to notch where the overlap is so that when you are done stitching you know where you need to place on top of each other so i'm going to also notch where i have the overlap so this is the overlap so let me show you what it's going to look like so when you are done stitching the overlap where i notched for the overlap must meet up with the other side overlap okay must meet up with the other side's overlap must meet up like this okay it must meet up like this so can you see this is how it's going to look like once you are done so i'll go now and cut the lining for this and I'm also going to cut out the skirt for. You see on the picture, the front has a pocket. So we are going to be creating the pocket on the gown. So what I will do is, you need to take the half an inch seam allowance, that one and a half, half an inch seam allowance, you need to take it off like so. Okay, now this is the hip, and then I'll come down two inches from the hip. Which is going to serve as a pocket i'll just come down two inches from the hip okay and then you take out your one and a half seam allowance you take it to on one side and then from there you need to take in two inches that two inches is going to be the is going to be the pocket opening that is where the pocket is going to open from okay and then from there you mark five inches so from the waist just come down by either five inches or six inches so i'll just come down by five inches so this is five inches here 
and then what you have here you mark it down like so just to create a kind of square shape and then from there you take your your uh pocket curve you can decide to go straight or just curve it so from what is in the picture it is curved so you need to take remember to take the one and a half seam allowance you take it off and from there i'm going to create the curve okay you can see i've created the curve from there let's create the curve you can see the curve now so for you to know the wideness of the pocket is the, the pocket is just going to be as wide as where your where your dart allowance is okay just measure where your dart allowance is which is four and a half so just mark four and a half out here like so okay so i'm going to connect this together so this is how from here now to here is going to be the wideness of your pocket i hope you understand from here from here to here is going to be the wideness of the pocket so what i will do now is i'm going to cut this side off okay but before i cut this side off i'm going to be placing this on another fabric to cut this shape out and then once i'm done i'll also cut now this side when you cut it out you are going to be curving it you need to curve it in okay so that it's not touching your body around here you need to curve it in so i'll go and take another fabric now place it on it and then show you how you are going to cut it i have four of this pocket here because you'll be needing two inches for each pocket you'll be needing two pieces for each pocket which i already have here so what i'm going to do is i used the wideness of from the from here to here to cut out the pocket you use your hip the wideness of your hip is what you are going to use i have seven and a half then i cut i use eight inches to cut it out because you need half an inch on the side on this side here so i cut out eight inches so the wideness of this pocket is eight inches why the length is what you have from the waist to where your uh, pocket is going to extend to and then you also had half an inch seam allowance to the lower part here so now i'm going to be placing this pocket now under the skirt okay i'm going to place it under the skirt so that i can trace out the hip shape before i eventually cut the one that i'm supposed to cut okay so this is it now so what i'm going to do now is to take one of these off I'm going to be taking two of these off one is going to be for the left and one is going to be for the right side just the same way we do cut out our um the same way we do cut out our uh trouser pocket okay so make sure to notch where it's going to be at the side i'm just trying to notch it so that i will know where we come to the side here so i'm going to take two of these off okay then i'll place this back again so i'm having two now okay i'm having two of these pockets here now so i'm going to place this back here so i will use it to cut the shape i made around here i'll use it to cut it out So when you are cutting you are not going to cut directly on the shape okay just mark half an inch for for allowance you mark it here either half an inch or quarter of an inch you mark it off around here okay before you cut don't cut directly on the mark i made here so i'm done cutting the pockets so you can see now so i'm going to bring the, the ones i took off before i'm going to bring it back so one is going to be for this side you can see this is it okay one is going to be for the other side for the other side of the skirt okay so this is it 
so you can see so when you when i place so this is what you have on this side you also do the same thing so what i cut off here has been replaced with the uh, other side of this pocket just like our trouser pocket that is how you are going to do the sleeve the sleeve is just a normal full circle sleeve 360 degree circle sleeve so what you need to do is to calculate your round ham hole so whatever your round ham hole is you divide it by 6.28 and whatever you get is going to determine the radius and the radius is what you are going to be measuring from this point here from this point here so whatever your radius is, is what you'll be measuring here on this folded side. And for you to now know how much fabric you need, once you determine the radius, you also have the length of your sleeve to it. And then you, it will, you'll be able to know how much you need to fold for the sleeve. So for instance, now, if the radius after you've divided your, um, your round ham, or after you've divided it by 6.28, if your radius is 3, and the length of your peplum, the length of your sleeve is 7. That means 3 plus 7 is 10 inches. And 10 inches is on fold. You know you need a perfect square to cut a 360 degree flare. So what you do is 10 inches. When you open it up, you have 20 by 20 inches. So that means 20 inches by, by length, 20 inches by width is what you need for to cut out the circle sleeve. So I'll be cutting the two sleeves together. Okay, guys, so for you to get the um, the design around the pocket, you need to fold the fabric into two, which I've already done. And then you place the side which I cut out the pocket, you place it here. And after taking this mark, I want the wideness of the design around there. I want the wideness to be about three inch, three and a half inches. You know, I'm going to be stitching this place by half an inch. And then I'll stitch the design down on this area by half an inch. So I want all the wideness that will be left to be about two and a half inches wide. So that means half an inch here, half an inch here, that's one inch plus, plus two and a half, I have three inches. So which means after I'm going to mark this um, mark I'll do here, I, I'm going to be marking three and a half around here. So I'm going to take the mark now. Just take your chalk and then do the mark. The design I made here, all you need to do is to measure the length of the skirt before turning your skirt with lining before turning the fabric with lining make sure you measure the length of the skirt whatever the length is is what you're also going to use for the length of this design i made here and the wideness is two and half plus half an inch on both sides that's three and half okay so then after stitching it down on both sides then you can now turn your fabric with lining which is what I did here, you can see. So I'll go ahead now and place this here. So I'm going to be stitching this down here. Okay, I'm going to be stitching this down. You can also do this before turning with lining, okay? So instead of me, I can just, you know, remove the stitch and then stitch this down before placing the lining. So you can do it anyhow you want you can attach this here before turning your fabric with lining so i'll just go ahead now and stitch this down i'm going to secure this place down then afterward then i'll stitch this in by half an inch so for the front i've also joined the front bodies so you can see i said after you know turning with lining you need to place the notch part of the overlap you know i notched the overlap allowance for both piece so after turning with lining you need to bring the notch part of this side and this side you place it on top of each other which is what i have done and when you are placing it the overlap here should meet the that 
leg here why the overlap the other overlap is going to meet up the dart you can see what i have that it is meeting up the dart here and then you need to stitch after placing it on top of each other you also run a tiny stitch just to secure these two pieces to make them stand on top of each other and i've also joined the um, the shoulder area all right guys so this is the outcome of the dress and you can see how beautiful this dress is looking if you follow every step i i uh, taught us you will definitely get this style so thank you guys for watching this video to the end please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that also like and share this video and i will see you guys in my next video bye